Hudson, New Hampshire, will challenge our defending champions, Paul Romani of Westfield and Steve Legenza of Feeding Hills on Candlepin Doubles. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Leary. Well, you may have noticed last, last week we took the week off for our live championship show and here we are right back again with Paul Romani and Steve Legenza where we last left them, champions, winners of four weeks in a row, trying for five in a row this time and this will be the last one for a while actually. Then we'll go off for a little bit for the football season and maybe they'll be back, maybe not. Mike Pullen and Brian Uphold would certainly like to change that. Again, for our champions, we have $500 in prize money. For our runners-up, we have $300 and all kinds of bonus money. Steve and Paul were able to pick up $50 last week for three marks in a row. Three strikes in a row, it would be worth $1,000 in bonus money. And a 200 total, we've only been able to do it. A 300 total, 200, you should be able to get it. Otherwise, we should give you the hook, I guess. A 300 total, we've only been able to do twice in the history of the show. That would be worth an extra payoff of $200. So a lot to shoot for. Let's get on with it. Here we go. All right, Steve Leganza will start it off for the champs for us. Steve's wife, Mary, who is Paul Romani's daughter, last left us a couple of weeks ago herself. The winner of four in a row in the women's series. There's a spare. We've got a couple of hard throwers in this one right now. Brian Uphold with a spare. Matching marks to start us off. In fact, you might want to watch Brian, the way he sort of curls his ball up on his delivery for a little bit of an extra effort as he really powers it down the alley. Both of these guys, very big hitters. Two in a row, no. Brian for two in a row. Almost, he's got it. Steve takes a nine. And 26 for the champs through two. 26 plus for the challengers through two. There. Eight. And that's the lead, eight pins. All right, I'll see if he can belt some of this wood over. Couple of nines. Still an eight pin lead, 43 to 35. Steve Legenza, married with a couple of children, works at Digital. Bowls out of the Westfield Bowling Center. At a 1260 in the roll off there, along with Paul Romani. Brian Uphold and Mike Poulin made it with a 1286 in their roll off at the Dover Bowling Center in New Hampshire. with the head pin. Two more nines. And we're still stuck at an eight pin lead in favor of the challengers.
couple of shots at it here. There's one. And there's two. Matching marks in the fifth box. So these guys set up their partners very well. At the halfway mark of the opening string, we've got 62 pins for our challengers, plus a bonus ball, and 54 plus a bonus ball for our defending champion. So Mike Pullen and Paul Romani will step up with their first balls and finish out the opening string when we come back right after the two of the opener. Both of these guys working on marks now. Paul Romani with one. He adds nine. And Mike Pullen adds nine. Here's two in a row. Mike with one a little bit tougher, although as a southpaw, he's coming in here on the 10 pin, and he's got it. So two in a row, one more worth $50 in bonus money. Good bid. And a 10, so a 10 pin lead now for Mike Poulin and Brian Uphold. 98 to 88. was supposed to bowl here with someone else but then he showed up for the roll off and his partner didn't show so he just picked up Brian Nuppold who happened to be just watching and it seemed like a pretty good pickup because through the first five boxes Brian was able to throw up 71 pins on the scoreboard these guys might bowl together on purpose from now on Will it go? It does. A strike in the ninth for Mike Poulin. Paul Romani, winner of four weeks in a row to this point. Mike Poulin has that for two marks in a row. This is the second bonus ball on the strike. And will it all go? No. 
All but one. Nine on the strike, though, and a 126 through nine. So he's working on a good string here. Closes with a 10 and a 136. So a pretty good showing from the guys up the road in New Hampshire. They blow into town here and open up with a 136. And for our defending champions from the western part of the state, Paul Romani of Westfield and his son-in-law, Steve Legenza of Feeding Hills, an opener of 114. So we have a 22-pin lead for the challengers to this point. We'll be back to see if they can hold on to that in the second and deciding string right after this. Here we go with string number two. If these guys can pick up where they left off, a 136 to open. Should they be able to come up with a 164 here, which certainly isn't outside the realm of possibility, would have an extra payoff of 200 for coming up with a 300 game. Right there. Uh, no. Steve Legenzo, we'll see if he can play this wood just right. Going to have to hit that lead pin first. And, well, he did everything he wanted to do. It just wouldn't go. Couple of nines. So no blood. Still 136, 114. A 22 pin lead for the challengers. Bingo, there's a spare in the second. I'm not sure if we caught the tail end of that, but it just went down through the back door. Steve Legenza gets a spare in the second. All right, now they've got it going. Brian looking for two in a row. He just about runs out of runway here. His approach begins with his heel hanging off the alley. Right on it, right on the money. Two in a row. Steve Leganza looking for the 10 pin and he's got it for two in a row. Could have saved some time and just kept track on one side of the scoreboard here. Exactly the same numbers up there. Everybody. Looking for three in a row and needs only the five. And Steve Laganza has a great shot at three in a row. Right down the middle, $50 in bonus money. And that goes for three in a row and $50 in bonus money. So we are seeing some good bowling and maybe that 164 is a possibility to get to a 300. All right, a little thin this time. Only three on the mark. And 60 through four. Steve Leganza on his side adds six. And 62 through four. For four in a row, no. Hey! Oh, 
almost. And a good out, a good nine out of that. Brian upholds, sits down with a great opening here, a 69 through the first five. At 71 through the first five in the opening string. And 71 is exactly what Paul Romani and Steve Legenza have up on the board now, thanks to Steve. So they gain two pins here. And so overall on the match, the lead is 20 with five to go. Mike Pullen trying to hold on. Spear, got it. Ball Romani in the sixth. And Mike Pullen with a nine. 78 through six for the challengers. 81 plus for the champs. The lead now is 19 less. However many Paul Romani can get on his first ball. Less six. So a 13 pin lead at this point. Nice spare. That's a great shot by Mike Pullen in the seventh. So just when the champs threatened to tighten it up, Mike Pullen widens it again. Looking for two in a row, nine in the spare, 107 through seven. There it is, two in a row. Money is going to need an unbelievable finish. Takes nine. 104 through eight. And that should pretty much settle it. Mike Poulin looking for three in a row here. They've already picked up 50 in bonus money. The problem is that piece of wood which you see, which is well separated from the 10 pin, so this is no sure thing. Takes a 10 anyway for 126 through 9. Paul Romani with a 9 and 113 through 9. So we've already settled the match. It's just a matter of what the final numbers are going to be. Each of these guys trying to finish off with a mark. Challengers on their way to the highest total we've had in the last month or so. One thirty six plus. Balramani takes a ten and one twenty three. 
so the champs have been replaced. A five and a 141. Great string for Mike Pullen and Brian Uphold. So the gunslingers from New Hampshire come down here and knock off our four-time defending champions and get very close to the 300 total, the magic 300 total. We'll take a look at the scores now for our new champions, Brian Uphold of Londonary, New Hampshire, and Mike Pullen of Hudson, New Hampshire, a 141 to go with a 136, a 277. And for our now ex-champions, Paul Romani of Westfield and Steve Legenza of Feeding Hills, a 114 and a 123 for a 237 total, a nice 40-pin win for Brian Uphold and Mike Pullen. We'll be back with them and the runners-up right after this. It's an unusual occurrence. For the first time in a couple of months now, we say goodbye to some member of the uh, Romani family. Uh, Mary Legenza, we were able to hang in here for four weeks. You'll be back next year, but for the first time in five weeks, we say goodbye to you. So finally, uh, your number came up, huh? All good things come to an end. Yeah. You guys want enough money off us anyway, right? All right we bowled well, no complaints. Yeah, okay, so we'll see you guys in, in, next year. It'll be a question as to who's going to be on first, you or uh, your wife and your daughter, respectively, right? I guess. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming. Paul Romani and Steve Legenza will be back again, we would imagine. And uh, Brian Uphold and Mike Pullen will be back. Unfortunately, you guys got to wait for the football season to come back, but I guess you don't mind that, huh? I don't mind at all. Yeah, so what's it like the first time around? It feels good. It feels real good. Now, Mike, Brian told me that uh, you were supposed to bowl with another partner. I would imagine the next time you enter a roll-off, you'll pick this guy? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Brian did a good job. Okay, good job. We'll, we'll see you again next time. Brian Uphold and Mike Pullen will be back for two in a row. We say goodbye for the football season, then we'll be back sometime around the end of the November. So enjoy the football, and we'll be back with the bowling. For everyone here at Fairway Sports World and Natick now, have a good afternoon.